Good morning, this is the clock guy. Uh, I thought I'd try something different this time. Normally I just show you some of the clocks I have in my collection. And this is one of the clocks. This is an Ansonia uh, clock from I think 1880. So I've laid out all the pieces to the Ansonia mantle clock on the table in front of me. I like to view these as uh, puzzles and I love doing puzzles so these are the pieces imagine if I took that apart how many pieces would be in there okay so I'm going to set this up on a tripod and hopefully get to work hello I have my workbench set up the good thing about old clocks is there were very few tools to work on things so basically a small flathead screwdriver, a little bit larger flathead screwdriver, pliers, needle nose usually, and cutting pliers if you need anything. And one of the best two dollars I ever spent was on this at Home Depot. It magnetizes your um, screwdriver. See that? And then as you are putting the screws in, they actually will stay on the end of the screwdriver. Amazing, especially in really hard to reach spots. Not magnetized. Magnetized. <laughs> so I will be getting to work and most likely go into fast forward motion to I'm not a hundred percent sure how to reassemble this but uh, if I'm not sure I generally take pictures except this was very self-explanatory so as I took it apart I realized certain screws fit in certain size holes so I think it's going to be easy you might see me fumble and think a little bit but um, it should be hopefully a um, no-brainer so let's get to work.
So with two screwdrivers and a pair of pliers, we have ourselves a very usable and beautiful clock. <laughs> yeah. This is the clock guy saying thanks for watching.